Now we are going to discuss about an interesting vulnerability called external XML entity injection. Before we get into this XXE or external XML entity injection, let's understand some basics. First of all, what is an entity? Entities in XML are used to represent data. Instead of using actual data, we can simply use an entity to represent that data. For example, let's assume a scenario where you want to print this copyright message in multiple places in your document. Instead of repeating this actual test in multiple places, we can define an entity using the keyword entity and we can refer to the name of this entity whenever we want to use the data. One of the benefits of entities is to help reduce the entry of repetitive information and also allow for easier editing. For example, if you need to change this text, you can just simply change it here and that reflects everywhere else in the document because you're just referencing it using an entity. So that is an entity. These entities are of two types internal entities and external entities. The first entity that you are seeing on the screen is an internal entity. We have just used the keyword entity and we defined an entity called ENT1 and we gave some data to it. So whenever we want to access the data web security, we can just simply refer to the entity ENT1. Now, when it comes to external entities, we use the keyword system and we specify a URL from which the value of the entity should be loaded. In this example, we are defining an entity called ENT2 and the value of this entity is going to be the content of the etc password file. And this etc password file is specified here as a URL using the keyword system. Similarly, instead of using file as a scheme, we can also use other schemes for example, HTTP, and we can load a file from a remote server. And that's how external entities work. Now let's discuss about the external XML entity injection. Applications that parse XML input from untrusted sources using an incorrectly configured XML parser can be vulnerable to XXE. Using this attack, an attacker may be able to view and gain access to the protected resources from the system. The idea behind this attack is that when parsing the XML document, the parser will expand these links and include the content of the URI that is specified by the attacker in the returned XML document. But the list that is shown here contains some of the attacks that we perform on an application that is vulnerable to XXE. As you can see, we can read arbitrary files on the server remotely as an attacker and we can try to scan internal networks, we can perform denial of service, and we can even perform remote code execution in some cases. For example, if the application is built using PHP and if it is running with certain configurations, it is possible to even achieve remote code execution. But at a minimum, we should be able to read arbitrary files from a server where the vulnerable application is running. Now let's use the bookshelf application and see this XXE in action. I am switching to my Kali machine. Let's open a terminal and let's start Burp's feed. Now let's also launch a browser. All right, now let's try to access the bookshelf application. I'm going to use a private window. There it is. As I have shown during the bookshelf application walkthrough, this application has an administrative panel. So 
we can log in as an administrator here. So I'm just going to log in as admin. And once after logging in here, there is a feature for the administrator to upload an XML file. We have downloaded a sample XML file earlier from bookshelf slash admin slash books.xml, which can be used in this case. Okay, so this is the file that we can use to test the upload functionality. We are not going to test the upload functionality here. Instead, we want to test for XXE. In my case, I already have the books.xml file available on my desktop because I have downloaded it earlier. So let's navigate to desktop and there is a file called books.xml. Now, I'm just going to take a backup of this books.xml. All right, now let's edit this books.xml. When we upload this books.xml file using the admin panel, we can actually click on the verify button. So when we click on this verify results button, the application is going to parse the XML file that is uploaded by the administrator and it is going to display all the elements from this XML file. What it means is it is trying to parse all of these elements. Now let's see if this application is vulnerable to XXE. To test for this, we can simply create an external entity. Let's do that. I'm going to create an external entity here. Let's say document type document and I'm just closing a square bracket which is opened here and I'm also closing this XML tag with a greater than which is opened here. Okay, now within this doc type, I'm just going to create an entity. So as mentioned earlier, entities can be created using the keyword entity and I'm going to call this entity XXE. That's the name of my entity in this case. And I'm going to create an external entity. So I'm going to use the keyword system. Now let's specify the name of the file here and I'm going to use file as scheme and I'd use HC password as the file. So when this entity is executed, HC password is going to be read and the contents of that file are going to be displayed for us. But for that, we need to reference this entity somewhere. So let's probably use this name here. So I'm just going to replace John with the entity. Okay, so that should do it. So I'm just saving this file and closing the file. Now let's quickly log out because I have clicked on verify results. The application is not so stable. So I would like to log in once again. I'm just clicking login. Now let's click on browse and let's upload this books.xml and let's click upload. It says successfully uploaded. Now let's click verify results. There seems to be an error. The error says the declaration for the entity XXE must end with a greater than symbol. Okay, so seems like we made some mistake. So let's quickly open the books.xml file once again. And yes, if you look at this line entity, we did not close this. So I'm just adding a greater than symbol here and saving the file and closing it. And let's go back and log out once. And let's log into the application once again as administrator. And I'm going to upload the books.xml file once again. And hopefully it should work this time. I'm clicking on verify results. Look at that. 
instead of the name John, we are able to load the contents of the entity XXE, which we have defined in the books.xml file. So this application is taking the XML file and parsing the external entities that are defined in the XML file. That's a danger. When applications are receiving untrusted XML input, and if the application requires to parse it, it should ensure that the entities are not processed. In this case, the application is not doing that, so it is vulnerable to XXE.